ear. What's going on, everybody? What's good? It's your boy Rob, aka Roboto, and I'm back once again with another fantastic Madden 21 Ultimate Team video. If you're back with me once again, this is video three of the day, and it's well deserved. The 50 is live. The first big promo we got for series two, maybe the first like big, big, huge promo we get for the year. Um, this promo will allow you to get two free cards from the 50 promo. Um, I believe they're both going to be 91 overalls, but we'll check out a little bit how to do that, what you can do to get some cards right now, maybe some things you can do in the auction house, but some cards a little bit on the cheap, on the cheap, but uh, we'll check that out in a little bit. Uh, before we dive in though, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you stopping by. Um, also hit the little bell, get notified anytime I go live with some new content. Um, Today, we're gonna dump into the 50. Um, so why not do the like goal 50 likes? What? I mean, come on. 50 likes for the 50 debut, uh, and we'll rip a bundle for the 50. How about that? 50, 50, 50. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Let's see what we got going on in this promotion. Uh, first things first, when you load up, Gridiron Club reward the 50 welcome. It's a Reggie White card, 80 overall. I don't know if everybody gets the Reggie White or if um, you know everybody gets one. Either way, that's the card that comes with it. Let's see if there's any inscriptions on here. Um, nothing here, just a little giveaway for Reggie White. And everybody gets those. It's a Nat card, so you can quick sell it if you want, throw it on your team as a backup or a starter if you need it. Um, and then once you go in and you get live here, let me just make sure I don't have anything I need to pay attention to. No, no, no. Okay, that's interesting. Um, all right, so the 50 right here, missions. Um, we're going to check out everything through missions. So the 50 is our celebration of some of the greatest players from Madden history. Take on special challenges featuring these outstanding athletes and complete sets to add powerful stacked versions of them to your team. So that sounds pretty interesting in the sense that, okay, last year we got NFL 100 and it was the NFL's rating of the top 100 players of all time. This is Madden history. So this isn't quite the same promotion in, in the sense of that we're going to get, you know, the best of the best, top of the top Hall of Fame names that we remember and that are enshrined in Canton with their bust and all that. Um, we might not get the top five all time, but we're going to get Madden history, you know, the players that are the top of the top. So, I mean, come on, guys. If you're thinking Madden, the best players in Madden of all time, I mean, you got to think cover athletes, guys like Michael Vick. You got to also think of Bo Jackson, obviously. Uh, maybe even a guy like Eddie George, who was a captain this year. He might be a, a, a card that gets a pro, uh, upgrade later on down the line. Um, they could also do stuff with coach madden too you never know we don't know um but the 50 greatest players from madden history so that's pretty dope um let's check it out though and, and then two think about it like this maybe we can get some fun cards like a uh, taylor mays from days in madden past with the cards that are extremely like glitchy that we figure out due to dynamics and everything like that his height and his speed it's a great card to use so just keep in mind it's not the 50 greatest football players of all time it's just 50 um memorable Madden stars. So expect some big names, but I also expect some interesting names. There's a couple interesting names in the first rollout here, um, but let's check it out. Launch celebration, um, earn stars in the 50 launch celebration. This is a launch celebration set of solos challenges, and we'll check it out in a little bit. Um, it ends October 2nd at 10 a.m., so keep that in mind. It is timed. Um, earn a stacked player from week one. So you earn eight stars in the 50, you earn 16 stars, complete a stacked set. Um, you get different um rewards here we'll check that out a little bit when we check out the solo so that's basically it for the 50 under the missions um as we go into the challenges here we'll check out how you can get two of them for free so keep you know keep up a little bit here and we're gonna get into discussing how this works all right so number one is the 50 right so 50 is launch week so that's this week first week of the 50. now if you go to milestones uh six stars gets you a nat 81 fresh player which are the 81 overall cards the low low level cards 81 overall so there's only 81s and 91s that 80 you saw earlier uh, it's just a nat card to welcome you to the promotion here so 81 overalls all the way down through 30 stars you get 2,000 coins more 81 overall fresh players um, and then 2,000 coins here, more 81 overall fresh players. Um, you know, so that's just basically what you're gonna get out of all these is just fresh players as we go all the way through. Then you're gonna go down to the weekly 50, okay? And there's eight different milestones here, okay? So our eight stars to get the first milestone. So eight stars, you get the first milestone, another Nat fresh player, okay? Fresh players all the way through, all the way through. And then you get tier eight, weeks one through seven, Nat stacked player. Um, tier eight, 52 stars, Nat stacked player, weeks one through seven. 
and then you're gonna go down and once we get down to tier 16 100 stars gets you a next stack player for weeks 8 through 15 so there's 15 weeks in total of these challenges we are week one right now so there's 14 more weeks to go so this is gonna very well roll into what is this September probably into the new year going into um, probably into January so keep that in mind it's gonna be something that goes on for a while but the good thing is is that this is based on stars right and not tokens um, the only thing is is that it appears some of these solos will be gated okay so just keep that in mind here um as we go through some of the the 50 or october 2nd excuse me october 2nd is when these challenges are closing um the weekly 50 i don't know if this closes after week one so just keep that in mind but it is interesting to note too as well the weekly 50 they're going to be divided by weeks so week one is going to be different from week two all the players everything to do with that everything with the sets um so let's jump right into the sets then you can see what i mean by the difference in the different players for the 50 and these are the players that are in them okay we'll check them out in a little bit and we'll go through some of them that i'm interested in not all of them are worth noting for one reason or another um but here's the two different setups for the exchange sets the 50 exchange you go in here um, 81 overall fresh players you're gonna get 8 75 to 79 overall gold players for 180 one overall fresh player from the 50 okay so you get one of those what do i do with one of those well you need 32 of them to fill up these sets these are repeatable though okay so here are all the players brian dawkins nandi asamon Derek brooks reggie white walter jones jimmy graham tyrone calico now he's one of those names that are maybe not a mutt name that we all know very well um or maybe not a madden name or even an nfl name we know very well because i'm sure as how i looked them up um but he's a name from back in the day when he ripped it up back in the you know early aughts with the tennessee titans so shots to tyron calico getting a card um and then reggie bush we all love reggie bush um a usc legend had a nice fun little you know cup of coffee in the nfl had a fun stint in the nfl um i mean it's probably gonna be a great card to have as your uh, halfback there he's gonna replace barry probably not but damn fun option for sure we're gonna try to check that out so this is what they mean by like you know the 50 uh reggie bush isn't going to the hall of fame tyrone calico not a hall of famer um probably not even jimmy graham maybe who knows let's see but some of these guys aren't i mean nandi asimov's probably not going to the hall of fame um some of these guys aren't the most household names or the the top of the top of all time but they had a good run a good stint at one point in time in madden so it, it is exciting for sure especially when you consider names like a Darrell Reeves that we saw in a recent leak um even another guy like brett Favre, for some reason or another brett Favre's in the game that'd be dope um but these are the eight names what am i more interested in um the one i'm most interested in is probably jimmy graham just for his abilities um calico though i saw he is pretty tall um i haven't checked out his stats but we'll check it out in a little bit um and reggie bush like i said it's probably gonna be fun walter jones is a lineman so we'll get what we get reggie white i'm cool i already have left end uh Derek brooks i'm cool I already have a right outside linebacker and linebackers are kind of pointless unless they're rushing the passer um nandi asma i'm cool again brian dawkins once again probably cool if i get him though i might use him for a little bit he's fun hit power it's, it's insane but let's check out how to get brian dawkins for example um what you got to do is get in here and put an 81 fresh player in here to get brian dawkins now it's going to be interesting as the weeks goes go go on right um are we going to be able to put 81 overall fresh players from week two into week one it appears so there's no clear delineation here um because if you note here even in the description 32 81 plus overall fresh players it doesn't say week one fresh players um because if we go back now these are separated by weeks granted that's that's fine and well but if we go back here to the team of the week for example um to do one of these sets what we'd have to do is we'd have to put in or not that one excuse me um to get the quell jackson for example we'd have to put specific players for that week right so that these are the week two players you can't put the week one guys into week two um so it's it's important to note that because as we go forward it's probably going to be um there's probably going to be opportunity to make some of these original guys for cheaper on the market depending on what cards we get as the market keeps getting fuller um and, and more in flux with more of these 80s and 81s and things of that nature so um just something to keep in mind there um so yeah as we go through these are the eight and you're going to put all those 32 um fresh players into these sets to get the card um how do you get these fresh players obviously on the market obviously impacts we'll check it out in a little bit obviously through the solo rewards as well 
So uh, we're gonna go browse the store a little bit and I'm gonna be opening packs by the way. Tonight, probably into tomorrow, depending on what the legends are. If we get some sick legends tomorrow, I'm opening packs tomorrow. If not, I'm doing them tonight. Um, here are the packs for the 50, four times the 50 weekly um, fantasy bundles, 5850 for week one, 120,000 coins for the 50 fantasy pack, very similar price to the Legends bundle uh, fantasy packs we get. Um, and then we still have some all pro packs in here and, and under the player section, there's nothing else to list besides those two options for the 50. So let's open one up because man, if you have not seen this animation yet, Enjoy it because it is sick, nasty. And maybe we'll pull a 91. Who knows? Let's get glitchy here for a second. If I pull it, I'm selling them though. All right, that's not the animation. Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. All right. So. Oh wait. We have to actually pick. Okay. So I'm gonna pick that. C9. Nice. Eight. Eight. Okay. Cool. Uh, not the one I want. Not you. Nope, nah. Two this round. All right, so this is very, uh, very much a little uh, Russian nesting doll situation here, pack-wise. Morstead, another Elite and Collins. Come on, give me that bubble. That animation is nasty. A Jimmy Graham 81, all right. Um, nasty in terms of, it's sick, I love it. It's a sick animation. All right, so 81 Jimmy Graham, 84 Morstead. You know what? We'll revisit it later. I'm not gonna make the pick right now. I don't have to. Um, we'll revisit that later on today. But as you saw, the animation, nasty animation. We love it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and bop into the auction house and check out these 91 overalls. Not really dive too much into the actual stats of them for all of them, just the ones that I'm interested in um, and the ones you should probably be interested in as well. Um, also, too, if you're interested in buying some 90 legends. You know, cheap, cheap, cheap right now. I'm waiting for that Reggie Wayne to drop below 150, depending on who comes out tonight, legends-wise. It's another receiver. Oh, man. Reggie Wayne, come on through. Um, so go through program, and you're going to see the 50 right there under weekly. Um, so already on the auction house, Derek Brooks up for 228. He's the cheapest one because he's probably the lowest one that everybody wants and probably won't do that much for your team um, unless you're a bucks theme teamer. Walter Jones then also, just because he's a lineman. Um... Is he the best lineman in the game? Probably, but he's just a lineman. You know, everybody just wants the flashy, flashy, flash. 6'5", um, his strength is is the same as Trent Williams. Um, but he has Trent and just about everything else. 88 overall Trent. But uh, run block is pretty nice, though. 90, 90, 91. Not mad at it. Pretty solid. It's a pretty it's a pretty balanced card. I mean, nothing against Walter Jones. It's, it's a balanced card. So um, I would check Derek Brooks, but his coverage stats aren't going to be in the compare. Like literally, I'll, I'll, I'll pop it up right here. Compare him against LT and his coverage stats won't be there. So it doesn't matter. This is going to show trash for his power moves and finesse moves. And everything. What the hell? LT is better. Um, so irrelevant. Um, and we're going to go to Jimmy Graham. He's probably the one out of all of them that I would be interested in getting. 6, 7, 84 speed, uh, 75 strength, 92 catch. Whoa, 92 catch, 92 spec, 91 short. 67 run blocks, a little iffy. Ugh. 86 medium. But overall, though, I mean, 6'7", 84 speed, 92 catch. Yeah, if, if I fall backwards, I'm going to make sure it's a, it's a Jimmy Graham's hands. He's definitely going to catch it. That's a solid card. 6'7", good lord. Um, he's going to probably get some chems, too. Some, some fun team chems on there, too. Se Seahawks, uh, Bears, too, I believe now. Um... Brian Dawkins, Weapon X. We'll check him out. We'll check him out. I'm not against Dawkins at all. Six feet is a little short, um, but it's okay. I mean, Steve Atwater is only 6'3". Minka's what, 6'1"? Yeah, so. Um, but they're probably giving him an inch or two, honestly. Um, but 88 speed, 88 excel. Tackles at 88. Play Rex at 90. Pursuit 89. Hit powers at 90. That's pretty okay. That's pretty solid. I mean, it's not that great in comparison to Atwater. Um, they're, they're pretty similar, actually. Pretty, pretty similar. It's just Atwater's just a little taller, and Dawkins is a little faster, but everything's trajectory. If Atwater was a 91, then this would probably be the same card. That's weird. Um, that's very weird. Um, interesting. I'm gonna keep plowing through here. Um, okay, let's check out Reggie White, and we'll get into Calico next. I don't Calico. Check him out. Reggie Bush seems to be the 
highest priced man on the market. 6'5 for Reggie White, so he's in a good spy. He's good, you know, throw his hands up in the sky and deflect some, some stuff. Um, I don't have a left end on the team. Uh, I use my right ends as left ends for the most part. I have Aaron Donald, I have Justin Smith, it's, it's Miles Garrett, so it's just a whole, it's a whole mess of guys. Um, so yeah, 76 speed, 86 excel, 92 strength, 88 tackle, play rex at 90, 91 block shed is, oof, that's nice, man. 91 power rooms, 87 finesse, pretty good card, but I'm not going to get him. I'm pretty, I'm pretty set on my defensive line, but pretty damn good card. Reggie, man, Reggie White's always a pretty damn good card, man. Must be nice. Can't wait till Strahan gets one. Hopefully. Come on, Strahan. Come, come back. One more year. Um, there's Calico right there. I feel like that's going to get bought, though. That's a low price. Um, we'll check his 477. That won't get bought right away. Tyrone Calico. Okay, let's compare him to the uh, Golden Tate, newly purchased, or Devontae Adams. Either one. Doesn't matter. 6'4", 91 speed, 90 jumping, 86 catch. But 89 catch and traffic, 89 spec catch. Route running is a little eh, but deep route, 91 deep route running. It's not a bad receiver at all. I'm a little concerned about his catching and his route running. Just a smidge concern. Um, you know, it's not the end of the world or anything, but his catching is, it is a little low and his route running is a little bad. Um, so, I don't know. But he's tall, 6'4", that's great. 91 speed, that's also great. So. It's, it's not a bad card overall it's not a bad card not a bad card at all it might frustrate you a little bit you know drop passes and things like that but it seems to be the new meta of the game just drop everything um what else we got we got namdi and we got reggie bush i think it will last two namdi asma 6'3 89 speed 90 excel 88 agility 90 jumping not even as good as byron okay um 91 man though that's solid it's really good 89 play rec okay that 91 man is probably going to be very helpful for this meta right now 91 man 90 press yeah that nomdi that nomdi's out of here man that's going to be bench press man coverage all day 82 zone yeah um he's not fat he's not that i mean he's not that slow though he's 89 speed so 63 good height that's a good card and nomdi nomdi is a very very good card if you, if you stumble onto him congrats probably the best corner in the game Maybe, maybe, maybe. Nah, nah, not the best. Probably still um, Ward. Ends Ward. Um, and the last card is gonna be Reginald Bush, USC legend. Shout to Reggie Bush. Uh, here's a good comp against Barry Sanders. Five eight again. Barry Sanders are small guys. Uh, six feet. Reggie Bush. Ninety one speed. Ninety two excel. Ninety one agility. Eighty six carrying. Eighty two catching. That's that's good. I like that. 91 cod, 60 trucking, 89 break tackle. Yeah, it's a poor man's version of Barry, pretty much. Um, yeah, it's a good card. That, that Reggie Bush is gonna be fun though. His juke moves probably fun. His spin probably probably pretty high. I'd like to I'd like to see what um, I'd like to see what abilities he gets to. So that's fun. Fun, fun. That's the 50, guys. That's it. Rambling on for too long, but that's the 50, guys. We got the 50 here. Um, enjoy it. Build up the sets if you have to. Um, use the free cards, obviously, and then try to snipe the rest of the cards. The 81s, snipe the market. Just pay attention to the market, see what you got going on. Make as much coins as you can off this. People are going to try to buy these cards and fill up these sets as quickly as possible to get these cards. So take advantage of that and take advantage of all the cards coming down the line. Um, just pay attention. Make sure you do your challenges. Get them stars, and you're going to get two free 91, at least 91 overall, um, from the 50. All right? Appreciate y'all for stopping by. Peace.